long time no see. It's Nancy here and today we're gonna be talking about pigments. And that's all I got. That's what we're talking about today. I have other things from the place that I ordered. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about pigments from one place and that is from, I'll insert a title in here. It's called Peaches and Cream. They are based in the UK. I think specifically Liverpool, at least the owner is from Liverpool. It does not say, I'm looking at my invoice. I haven't been getting into pigments during this, you know, quarantine time. I didn't have anything else to do and I was looking at how much color payoff that I get from pigments. So I thought, hey, let me get that, especially when they had a buy one, get one free sale. Their pigments run about um, normally $7.58, which is, hold on, Siri, what is the conversion rate in dollars from seven pounds and 58 cents to dollars? That would be $9.04. There you go, you heard her, $9.04, which is still pretty good. Um, as far as pigments go and if you actually got to a certain price you get um and the shipping wasn't that bad either but yeah because i was gonna wait till black friday but then this fell in my lap a lot of people because of quarantine have been having a lot of um sales so actually yeah i only paid so that i paid like 12 bucks for shipping which isn't bad it's international came through royal um mail international and it came pretty quick and i didn't have any kind of issues now i'm gonna zoom in so we can really get into this as we've been getting into pigment i do have their pigments on today i purchased 10 pigments from them and i have actually gotten them from another place but today i'm just focusing on peaches and cream we're not gonna talk about the other stuff that i got including what i'm wearing today which is the hotline um liner from this liner set i mainly got it for my kit because i did not have any kind of nudes for um lighter skins tone so i'll just show you that which yeah get five just in different shades of brownie nudes kind of things and so I'm wearing this day with some of my trusty Anastasia gloss or just whatever gloss I pick up. That's usually what I do nowadays. But what we're focusing on is the eyes. We're also not gonna focus on that I need some art. Yeah, from my wall. My wall is bare. I've been in this um, house for, you know, two going on. It'll be maybe is it three years this year. Wow, that time flies. But yeah, about three years, I don't know what to put up. I don't really want any straight up photos of me, if that makes sense. But that's neither here nor there, because that's not what we're gonna talk about. We're trying to make this concise and to the point. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna lift up my glasses. You'll see this beautiful green that I have on. It's a multi-chrome sort of green. The front is the pigment from them called Snake Bite, which we will swatch. And to get the rest of this, because I decided to do green, I put on Colored Rains from Color Rain, Colored Rains Vivid, Vivid Pigments and Shadows. Ooh, Lord Jesus, I ran all up and through that sentence. I have on the color Squad, which is this bad boy. Just a deep green, not quite hunter. It's very nice. And my bronzer, which, um, one tick. Uh have been wearing for the last thing when we we're playing in makeup um, from Paradise the Paradise Glow palette from Tammy by Makeup Revolution just the the bronzer the bronze goddess that was basically what I used for my transition shade and just my normal pressed powder all right so from what I have been learning from putting on pigments I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm talking like a mile a minute at least that's the way I feel all right so with that, and I'll bring this one out because this is the first one, I have found there are a couple of ways to put it on. So that is the, the biggest thing because loose pigment, you do get more color payout, but it is just straight up loose powder, which is not necessarily the most fun thing to put on. Let me back up. So um, okay. So you can see my lovely face. This is not the shirt I had on earlier today. I put this beautiful top on from Eloquy for you guys. 
it doesn't really match my eye look i had on all black today uh yeah when i went to work it's neither here nor there okay so snake bite and they also come in these cute little boxes as well it's very cute packaging and this is how it looks you get about how much do you get I'll insert it because I'm not gonna waste time keep looking for this and then this doesn't tell me how much it is on any of the boxes all right so there's a, another thing that I happen to get with it I also bought a pig their pigment brush this is the brush that they have that they suggested it is a PC 35 it is dirty because again that is what I use today um brown bronze are all over the lid and then just on the outer corners that dark green that squad that we talked about but I pressed it in so you can do that and what I basically use I use the eyeshadow primer now with pigments you can also do um, make yourself like a liner or make yourself like full full shadows which they have their own pigment drops too which is basically you know water alcohol glycerin etc etc you know, but basically you're gonna blend it in, take a couple of drops on the lid. That's what they suggested on the website. I've done it with other products. And I actually have Duraline too, so I haven't tried it that way, but we're not there. I've just really, like I said, I just got into pigments. So yeah, that. And basically with, either way you're doing it, if you're doing it loose to the lid, I just pressed it in. And we will actually go through several several ways. I used a sample today just to see how it will work. And actually it will work pretty well. I used the KVD. I don't have the box. Like I said, it's a sample. Um, the KVD um, Shake Primer, which looks black, goes on clear. You have to shake it up. And it's kind of tacky, but it's not as tacky as like the Helen E base, um, which I don't have, or the P. Louise is tacky, but P. Louise also dries down. This is normally what I have on, but today I tried a different base. And I also have the Anastasia base, which isn't really tacky either, but it's also really white. So I didn't want to do all of that today. Today. So, anywho, so what I'm going to do is for all the swatches. I am going to just go ahead and put the P. Louise base. And I wear rumor number six, which is basically about my eye shade. It's a little warmer than my eye shades. My eyes actually do have kind of like a normal, um, a natural catch eye to it because of the way it shades. Um, that's where my dark circles land. And people are like, do you have one eye shade? I do not. But it's my eye. So, I am here in my, um, where my vanity is basically because I wanted a table. So, this would be a little, um, cleaner. So, let me close that drawer. And with all of this, you don't need a bunch of, um, you don't need a lot. So, all I took it from is the lid. And basically what I do is I turn them upside down. So, I will have it in the lid and just tap it down because it'll stick. To, like you'll see there's nothing really in the lid because that's what I used this morning but you kind of have to do and pigment goes everywhere so that is one of the other reasons I want it on the table so we'll do that just shake it down tap 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 and I'm going through all this with the first one I will fast forward through all of these so you'll see they'll speed up enough but I did that it didn't really do that much so I'm gonna stick that in with my finger so what I'm gonna do is actually take the brush and I'm going to because this is what you would normally do anyway you can stick it straight into the pot okay so that is snake bite it is kind of a multi-chrome green sort of gold shift and because of the colors that I had on with it it um, shifted more green this morning so we are gonna hold that one up one more time as I get this together yeah 
see it looks it's reading gold on here so what i will actually do and if you're gonna go between colors this is worth getting it is a brush cleaner slash color switch this is the just the version from walgreens or your Dwayne Dwayne reed or wherever you are the drugstore this is a sponge i have a color switch it is like 19 bucks they do the same thing. This one was like five, if that. I think I got it on sale. Okay, so I'll just leave them out. The next one that I got from them is a pinky one, and it's called Pink Panther. Which we got our young man on there. Very cute. Let's tap down. You don't need very much. And as a matter of fact, when I got these, I split them. I, um,. Split them for my own kid. So that is Pink Panther. It is a, all of these are kind of multi y and you definitely need a base. This will be really pretty with the P. Louise pink base that they have too. Like if you put this on green, it would shift more green. They also have a gold metallic one too. So you can also, and you can make your own color basis if you have eyeshadow and just a, a kind of a more neutral or the white base. Just something tacky. I'm also interested in trying to make a revolution base, but that is Pink Panther. So we'll do that again. Very pretty. And that is again on the P. Louise base. You get a lighter base, of course, it will pop a little bit more, but like, and you can foil them. That will be the purpose of these drops. Or you can also do it with your door line. I still have some elf makeup lock and seal drops. They don't smell weird or anything, so I still use this. And I don't know why they got rid of it, but it was like sealing your makeup and making stuff waterproof. It was kind of great. I don't know why they got rid of it, but you know, companies. The next one is gonna be coconut. And this is their generic, kind of generic box of theirs, which is still cute. It's like pastel girlies all on here. Very cute. The packaging is just A1. I have other pigments from a black owned brand that I really like, which I will talk about when I get them all. I ordered some more um, too, so we're not talking about them today. But when you put it on, I don't even, it has like a sheen to it. So I just thought, even not necessarily particularly for me, but just inner corner highlights on, oh, or some of my paler uh, clients, beautiful. It's like, it's not, it deceives you because you think that this coconut is matte, but it is not. It is actually like a shimmer. It still maintains that, and it's not like a, and it's not, it's very odd texture, and it's not like a blend between it and, um, it's not like a matte with sparkles down in it. It's very, it's a very odd texture. Okay, the next one is Lux. This is also one of their generic bo boxes. It says Peaches and Cream. So, this is more like a topper. Because I actually, it's like a, Pink gold shift looks. Which I packed it on, which that's what I would normally do, but you can also kind of share it out. What I did right here. But that is looks. All right, very pretty. And it looks champagne inside of the container. And like you, with most pigments, you don't get a ton of pigment because you don't need a ton of pigment to make an impact. If that makes sense. Mademoiselle with a little devilette on here. A little de devil girl or whatever. I sound so corny. A little, little devil girl. Like I'm 175 years old. What is happening? <laughs> then I came to look at, when I looked at my order, I was like, your girl bought like a lot of the same color family. Relax, you need to venture out. This, this is beautiful. It is, it looks red in the package. I'm gonna tap it off. I don't need that much. 
doing conservative because I actually want to wear this, y'all. Okay. It is a multi chrome as well. Because did they have other. Did they have other things that I can get? Yes. But this is like my lane. Kind of looks. See, and it's kind of hard to see. Oh, hold on. Let me put the lid on. See, it is looking. It has like a red orange kind of color. So it is hard to see. Let me. This is gonna be what we pause. And we're black. Okay, so I re-swatched and I cleaned my brush off. That's what I need to do. And just clean off my hand in general and start a new set because I got like six more to go. Um, and I clean with my Cinema Secrets, just a quick wash, same little brush. And again, this is Mademoiselle, which you can't really see. You can see, but it looks pink. You can't get the dual chrome. It is, it shifts orange, it shifts yellow and gold as well. And it looks like red. And this is also one of the ones you have to pack on because it, it, it is, if you want this strong line, that's a packing. You can always, um, again, foil them, you can always, you just have it as a topper so like a sheer kind of situation that would be nice too all right anywho moving on and it has this beautiful little mm -hmm, just the packaging a1 okay so we got cinderella okay and i did the exact same thing it's the p louise base with the um yeah, and don't set your base if you want it to be tacky. Would you always want them to be tacky while you're doing this? Okay, so Cinderella is orange that shifts pink and gold. Like I said, y'all, I got like the same colors. This is like the same, they, Cinderella and Mademoiselle in the same family, they like shift the opposite ways. Which I did not realize when I got it, but still, be very pretty. I can't wait for the fall. Okay, I'm gonna put the hand up. Let me see. Look, it doesn't even look orange when you do that, but I'm gonna hold this up. That's how it looks in the pot. Maybe if that makes sense. I don't really want to hold it down because I don't want any to spill out. But yeah. That is how it looks. It's very orange and it shifts. But like dual chromes are so hard to film. But that is how it looks. That is how Cinderella looks. That's just like I'm gonna pick back up Mademoiselle and open it and let y'all see. Because it's hard to get that shift. It just is. We're not there yet <laughs> as far as cameras and this is a pretty good camera so like this is what she looks like in it it's red ready orange you can see the shift a little bit right like that but like I was saying but when I'm putting it on just showing it to you straight on camera it doesn't do it justice um same thing with um snake bite anything that's like multiple Multi-chrome is kind of odd. I got the, the, the hiccups on my five. Okay. I'm gonna back it up, back, backing it up. One more time. We're gonna do factor 50, which is cute, cute, cute. Just cute all the way around. And it is she orange. How she looks. Let's get all these oranges in the way. She's got a similar texture to coconut. That is what I was trying to explain. 
We're gonna pick it up again. We're gonna clean our brush again. That is Factor 50. Factor 50 is again the same texture as like the coconut. Ooh, okay. And then we got Hocus Pocus. That's again in there one of their generic boxes. It's not like a fun, it's not a fun box. So we'll just get straight to it. Hocus Pocus. Looks blue. It is a blue purple ship. Like a gold undertone too. Looks kind of periwinkle on here, but it's like purpley blue there, but that's why it's called Hocus Pocus because she too is a multi-chrome. Yeah. I usually did this in my other room against the wall, but y'all, this would have been a mess. Like I said, pigments go everywhere. Ain't she a beaut? And just, they don't do them justice. I'm going to probably have to take a picture and insert them too, or they will. And I have all the lights, because I'm sitting in front of my vanity, which has the, you know, the 360 lights, which are the best. Okay. We got Sapphire. Also on a generic box. This is how it looks. It's very blue, very shimmery. Ooh, she is blue. Love it. Sapphire indeed. Same similar texture to that coconut. That weird kind of... So this one has more shim in the shimmer than the coconut and the Factor 50. That kind of matte that's not really matte because it's like shimmery whatever the blend is gorgeous whatever it is it's gorgeous and i usually throw out my little boxes but these boxes are so daggone cute and i say that i'm probably gonna toss these boxes okay and then finally we got cactus look at this box cow print you get the chaps so cute oh just the little I just I love I am a sucker for cute packaging and thoughtful all that kind of stuff I, I love it <laughs> yeah I had to top myself down for some purchases because stuff is cute but like and even the Wild West this is a wild the Wild West collection look it's got the little sheriff star on the top this is how cactus looks Cactus is like actually the cactus would go well with this because I think this is basically a shimmery um version of it. Boom! Now that is green. Love it. True green. Love it. Hunter. Is it Hunter? Is it Emerald? I don't know. I just know she's pretty. As you can see, super pigmented. I love them so much. Great bang for your book. Yeah, I spent more than I really needed to, but I, but if I was normally buying, I would have been spending more. So <laughs> that makes sense. Um, yeah, and I'm really into it. My next one. I hope y'all like this video. I hope that this was informative. We'll do some looks with it when we do another plan and makeup because I like doing that. Um, I had to do it on a day where I ain't got nothing else going on to be 100% sure. Also, you know, need to get some makeup wipes. Even though I've got this um, Tarte um, Meisler Magic Pump, love it, great, takes all that stuff off, but I like a wipe, especially when I'm doing stuff like this. I don't necessarily use wipes on my face, but a good, a good wipe to the hand would be good now. All right, I'm rambling. Maybe the next one, if we stay in the lane of pigments and y'all like this, we can do some foil looks where we actually do this. I would be interested to actually see like I said, I haven't done it with these, but I know that's just how pigments work. I have not tried foiling them to, and letting them dry down, and but you still get that kind of wet look. Ugh. We shall go this one. Looks pretty wet already. I look, yeah, that is my concealer. I'll like, the closer I get, and my shirt is yellow. Reflection. Photography, cinematography. Okay, I am ra I'm rambling. Do y'all want to see my thoughts on Rare Beauty? Full disclosure, I didn't pay for Rare Beauty, so, and I'm not endorsed. So, my thoughts will be my thoughts. Would you be interested in seeing that? Um, even if you're not, that might be the next video. 
I've worn it all day before. I have some thoughts. I have some um, ways that it can work. I know there are a lot of people ran out to get it real quick and they liked it and or they didn't this that and the third some people were paid to do stuff which you know with every um makeup release so that's nothing new um yeah um i'm just rambling i always remember what that is remember to thumbs up like subscribe all that good stuff leave a comment um have you guys tried out this brand peaches and cream it is based on liverpool i double checked when i had to go get something to wipe my hand because my pigments were getting out of control for a second um yeah so did y'all like this have you bought anything from them how has your experience been ordering stuff from the uk or anywhere else um were you able to get in a timely fashion i know that yeah because everything's going on not just with um not just with covid but you know the post office and that whole fiasco yeah so shipping and stuff has been weird just on anything and you know we try to be patient since we're used to getting things early there's no such thing as expedient shipping anymore it just kind of is what it is all right y'all have a best blessed day thanks for watching and remember nancy loves you bye